Today I want to do a quick review on a couple types of business cards that I've tried. This is from Moo.com and it comes in a really a cute little box. So that doesn't really have anything to do with the cards, but it is a nice extra. I ordered from Moo. These are the Moo mini cards. They're double sided. The front I use as a gift tag. I package all my items as a gift. And so I punch a tiny hole right here. I'll leave this to from section blank. And on the back is a very abbreviated version of my business card with just the website on it. And uh, I love the texture of the Moo.com cards. They have a beautiful satin finish. They are heavy in your hand. I mean, they feel like quality. These are just so smooth, so beautiful. The colors are really, really true. I do all my own graphic design, so true colors. Um, and then in the back, they come with these really cute little dividers. There's mine. These uh, are some of the most expensive business cards, so that's the downside. You know, they, they have a wonderful reputation in the handmade community and it it's well deserved as you know you can see but they are pricey i ordered 200 of these and it was 50 dollars. holy cow so you can see this is a lot of business cards this is actually a brick of a thousand cards jukebox print is i think a canadian company and uh, they were having a promotion. I was a first time customer. $35, $15 shipping. So I paid $50 for this huge box of business cards. I paid $50 for two of these little boxes of mood cards. So just a you know, comparison there. So what I noticed right away, as soon as I pulled out the Jeek box cards, is the color is a little bit, not off, but less saturated on the jukebox card. So my colors on my um, my sites are this sort of teal, turquoisey sort of blue. Here, it's definitely more green. It's almost like a seafoam green. When you submit your graphics to jukebox prints, they send you a PDF file uh, to review and approve, but it's not a color correct file. So I was able to look at my, um, my spacing, my bleed margins, all that, and correct that. But it says on that PDF document, you know, this is not true color. So I really wasn't sure what to expect from the color. But there it is. The way you do it on Moo.com, is you upload your images and then right there you scroll through and you can see the card what it's going to look like and, and you grant approval that way so it's just two different sites two different ways of doing the same thing but i did find moo.com to be a little bit more attractive and a little bit more enjoyable to use so pulled out my first card this is it i think now this is me, I'm a little funny. It's got a little rough edge and then this and this are not centered. And I just was like, oh my gosh, I have a thousand cards that aren't centered. But I pulled out the second card. It still isn't perfect and I'm pretty sure that's my fault. It's definitely better here than here. And the rest of the cards seem to match this. So, Things I noticed about the jukebox print cards, again, beautiful smooth finish. It does not feel like cheap, flimsy card stock. You know, it's not gonna tear easily. It's not as heavy. You know, this is a heavier stock. So it's not as heavy as the new cards, but it still has a really nice feel to it. It still feels sturdy in your hand. So the colors, I'm not thrilled with. We're not perfectly centered here, and that's my fault, not their fault. Um, 
it did have to do with my difficulty in uh, figuring the for the proof out though so not as user friendly but again this is fixable for next time but I mean even with those downsides we're looking at a thousand cards for fifty dollars good quality to me I'd be very comfortable giving these away okay two other differences between these two companies so Moo.com and Jukebox Moo.com I ordered my cards they said it would take seven to ten days I ordered them while I wasn't at home, and by the time I arrived home, just a few days later, they were there. So they were very, very quick, printed very quickly, delivered very, very quickly. Shipping was very reasonable for the turnaround. So very impressed. With Jukebox print, Jukebox print, I placed my order. I did have to correct my proof. Um, so I, it took a little more time to, to get that ready, get that done. But once I submitted my final proof, it felt like it took forever to get my cards. So if you're in a hurry, I wouldn't suggest sheet box print because you may be waiting uh, for a couple of weeks for them to come. There is an option with jukebox print to get your cards printed very quickly, but you don't get a proof. I wouldn't suggest that just because of the experience that I had with the proof, having to make corrections and changes. If you're really confident in your design skills, you know, or you're a professional designer, you may be more comfortable with that. But for me, you know, talking to someone at, at my level, sort of a, an entrepreneur, you learn as you go and you've got the skills, but you also are figuring things out too and always learning. Definitely see a proof at least the first time because you know, if they come quickly, but they are incorrect, or your your graphics are really off, or everything is is crooked, you can't use them anyway. You know, and, and you're going to have to start over. So, continue to order for Moo these Moo mini cards because I really I love them. I love the color. I love uh, the purpose that I choose to use it for, which is as a gift tag. And I'm also going to continue to order from Jukebox Print. For my regular business cards just because I find it very affordable and I think with a few adjustments on my part I'm going to be able to get the color uh, you know that I love and um, it's going to be perfect.